<laughs> well, it's a big week for picnics, and that means yeah. there are a few safety reminders for your food because we don't want anyone getting sick. Probably not leaving it out in the sun for long periods of time. I don't ding, know, ding, but joining ding, ding. us now on the Picnic Patrol, <laughs> medical reporter Liz Bonus. Liz. Yeah, I don't get invited to very many picnics. <laughs> this was the big image of the day that Twitter had from the USDA today. They remind all of us that food temperatures, proper food handling, critical right now, so you and your friends and family don't get sick at holiday picnics and barbecues. Now, this message getting a lot of attention this week, especially after 33 people attending a neighborhood party in Charlotte, North Carolina, ended up in the hospital because they were f served food that was contaminated by feces. 18 of them had to be admitted to the hospital. A uh, two-year-old ended up in the intensive care unit. Four of the people are confirmed to have what they call Shigella, a very contagious disease passed through direct contact with bacteria in the stool. Now those who track foodborne illnesses say they do know the food was prepared by someone who attended the party. They don't know, however, the exact source of that contamination. According to the USDA, however, here's a few common food errors that can really make you sick. First thing to remember, keep hot foods hot. That means you can't look at a burger on the grill and know it's safe to eat. You need to check food temperatures for hot food. Steak needs to be 145, burgers and sausage 160, and chicken and turkey 165. That's of course measured in degrees Fahrenheit. Second, don't ever put cooked meat back on the plate that had raw meat on it. That way you avoid cross-contamination. Third, keep cold foods cold. It's recommended you have separate coolers for drinks and food, so the food one isn't opened all day. That makes it hard to keep food close to 40 degrees, which is what's needed. The danger zone is where bacteria grows, and that's 40 to 140 degrees. Finally, keep your hands washed. If you don't have running water at your picnic, keep alcohol-based hand sanitizer close by. It's not as good as soap and water, but it's better than no hand sanitation for those handling food. So what's really interesting mm -hmm. is they just did a study, you know the norovirus that makes everybody sick on yes. cruise ships? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they found that hand washing was more effective than sterilizing the ship and even isolating people. That's how effective hand washing is. I believe is. it though. Yes. And I, you watch at festivals and stuff and, and there aren't places to wash your hands. I wonder what's happening. Yeah. I know, and we're all eating there. Yeah, I got the norovirus my freshman year in college. <gasps> I literally thought I was going to die. Yeah. It was yeah. horrible. Yeah. It's the flu times 10, I'm told. Oh, yeah. And it all can be avoided with hand washing. So I hate to bring this up this time of year, you know, but it is. it can make a huge difference. Yeah. I think you'd be a good person to have at the picnic because you'd be <laughs> reminding people, hey, yeah. did you wash your hands? Yeah. If not, I'm not going to eat your food. It makes you not very popular. Well, yeah. No, I am. That's why my hands are dry. They're just... I know, I what know. What was your trick you told me earlier? Happy birthday twice? Twice. I washed my hands to happy birthday twice. That's how long it's supposed to be. Yeah, that's, a that's a long, long time. time. Yes, it is. You get the germs off. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to try that. Usually people just run away. 